Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Charlie, you sure do enjoy chasing redskins. Yeah, it helps keep my mind off the cold. Where's Docky? Inside. It's too early for the saloon. <laughs> I sure don't like this, Tim. Strange place. It's good for you, son. It makes you appreciate what you have at home. Well, I'll sure be glad when we get back to North Fork. Except for one thing. No horses. But, Paul, we need them. You said so yourself, and you said we could buy up there. If we found the right ones, son. But the ones over the stable are good. We can't afford to pay Mr. Shire his price. A hundred dollars? It's too much. Now, you go over and hitch up the wagon. Let's get ready to go home. I'll stop in here and pick up our money for Mr. Lovery. Pa? Huh? Hmm? What if Mr. Schneider changes his mind? Well, you tell Mr. Schneider we'll buy his horses if he comes down to my price. But he won't. Here, put this in the wagon. All right. Well, Sonny, what you think? Oh, good horses, all right. But yeah. I'll only pay $25 a head. $25? <laughs> Why, for $25, I couldn't even sell you a burro. Well, my dad wouldn't even pay for the tail. <laughs> well, that's a good joke. You let alone and tell your papa he's going to have to pay much more for the horses. <laughs> Uh, you really want some horses, Sonny? Why, well, sure. Well, I don't like to see a young fella uh, disappointed. Well, how much? Uh, uh, your price, $25 a head. It's a real good trade you want. Uh, very sharp. <laughs> Just waiting for that seed, Bull McCain. Well, I'm glad of it, Lovery. It's profitable for both of us. Yeah, this rancher really needs a bull bad. If you hadn't brought it up here, I'd have had advertising the Santa Fe paper for one. Where's Abby Grimes? You had some trouble, Mr. Crown? What's it look like to you, Quint? I want the sheriff. He's out chasing them horse thieves been plaguing us, Mr. Crown. Really? Well, you know, he's hunting in the wrong place. They paid me a visit. They took my remuda and killed two wranglers. Come on, Pa. Get on your horse, boy. Sure, Pa. Want me to take care of Mr. Crown? Yeah, docking, but nothing fancy. Ten dollars a piece, all right? Fine. Take him inside. Now, don't be home late, Joe. I won't. What's the matter? Oh, horse thieves killed some of Ben Crown's men. Two more killed, more good horses stole. If we keep sitting around on our fritters, there'll be nothing left in the chicken coop at feathers. M maybe I should handle this, Mr. Crown. Well, you ought to do something instead of standing there talking. All right, step up and get deputized. This is dirty work, and all of us better be there when it's done. Be two dollars a man for every day we're out. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can't deputize anybody, Artie. You ain't nothing but a deputy yourself. Sheriff Grimes away quits the law. He's bound to do everything necessary to keep order. Ben Crown always get his way. Crown and his ranch keep this town alive. Pa! Pa! Where's the wagon, son? Over the stables. Come on, I want to show you something. Uh, aren't you forgetting your manners? Oh, uh, uh, hello, Mr. Mrs. Lovering. Good morning, young man. My, but you're in a hurry. Oh, yes, ma'am. How about you, Joe? Uh, how about me what, Charlie? You riding with us? Joe's no gun hand, and you know that. How about your friend with a rifle? Sorry, mister. My boy and I are on our way home. 
Well, my pa will pay you, even though you are a stranger around here. And you thank your pa kindly for me, huh? So long, folks. Look, be careful with that horse, mister. What was that surprise you were talking about, son? Uh, you'll see. <laughs> All right, those of you that ride with a posse, bring your own grub and bed rolls, and we'll meet back here. This ain't right, Artie. You can't do anything without Sheriff Grimes. You know, if Grimes complains, I'll have his star. And, Docking, if you got anything more to say, you'll ride along with us. On a rail. All right, get with it. Get back quick. You have a bill of sale, Mr. Schneider? Something that says they're yours? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got one right here. Well, that seems to be in order, all right. Why the sudden drop in price, Schneider? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing. Uh, nothing is wrong, Mr. McCain. You looked at them yourself, Paul. Yes, I did, son. They're fine animals. I, I've been wanting to sell my business for a long time, Mr. McCain. It, this town is no good, and these are my last two horses. Just $25 a piece, nothing else. Well, maybe a little something more. Uh, uh, not too much. What is it? Oh, you go west from here, yeah? That's right, to North Fork. Ah, sehr gut. You see, I got there living a sister, but I haven't seen in a long time. And if it's nice, maybe I stay. Oh, and besides, I, I don't ride a horse too good. Hey, uh, two or three days in a wagon is worth something. I guess so. Ah, good. Uh, for this, I also lower the price of the horses. It's all right, isn't it, Paul? We made a deal, shook hands. Yes, uh, we made a deal, so I guess we better go through with it. There you are, son. Count out $50. There's a uh, 20, and 40, and 10, 50. Yeah, yeah, and here's the bill of sale. I'll be packing, Letty, in three minutes. All right, hitch up the horses. We're going home. All right. Another one. Costs money. You owe me more than fifty dollars right now for one thing and another. I know that. Well, I'll get the bottle. You can have my part of the posse. I don't want no more than my own share. If we catch up with them horse thieves, it ain't gonna help nobody to be back where you can point a finger at folks after it's all over. You think there's gonna be a hanging? I know it. Horses are all hitched up. Gets any warmer, we'll have mud all the way home. Yeah. Thank you, son. Pa, which one of the horses can I have? Well, they're only half broke, son. Tell you what, when we finish topping them, you can take your pick. We, we go now, McCain, yeah? You're in a big hurry, Schneider. Well, I like better a warm bed and a fire than to sleep out here again tonight. <laughs> 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 oh, some riders coming. Who are they? I don't know, Ma. Maybe they're some of the posse. I think so. They took the east road out of town. We're heading west. Well, if it isn't our tall friend who wouldn't join the posse. You boys want something? Sure. Something to drink, if you can spare it. Help yourself. Come on out, Schneider. McCain, don't let Charlie do it. All right, what do you want with him? Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Neglect me! Neglect me! Charlie, mine! Mine! That's the others. Tell them we're gonna have a rope dance. You 
can stand up now, horse thief. Horse thief? Looks like your brand, Mr. Crown. You know it's my brand, Quint. Tie up those horses! Tie them up! Looks like you were after more than selling your seed bull, mister. Those are our horses. We paid for them. Sure you did. And those two wranglers on Mr. Crown's ranch, they up and asked somebody to shoot them. You bought those horses. Where's your paper? Show them the bill of sale, Mark. Why didn't you show this before? Give any horse thief five minutes, he can have a bill of sale drawn up and signed for you. The Bar C Ranch, signed Abe Campbell. That's right, Mr. Crown. You and your boy step over to the wagon. What do you think you're gonna do? Move, boy! Don't you ever touch that boy again. Leave the boy alone. What's wrong with our horses, Paul? He's right, Mr. Crown. What is wrong with them? That's a good bill of sale. There is no Bar C Ranch. The brand on those horses is mine. If he bought them like he said, who'd he get them from? Henry Schneider. If he's telling the truth, Schneider will back him up. Where is he? Where is he? He's over there, dead. Looks like another job for you, Dockin. I'll take a look in the wagon. He tried to run away, Pa. Hmm? You're on a horseback and he was afoot. What'd you think he was gonna do? Fly? He ran. He knew what he'd done. Maybe he was just scared. Oh, he was scared, all right. Because he knew he'd done something he was gonna hang for. Just like you'll hang. Because I told you you were in this thing together. Paul! It's all right, son. We'll see how all right it is. Put your hands up against the wagon, spread your feet back. Hey, look at this! You sure got a lot of money for that seed bull, mister. There's $50 more of it in Schneider's pocket. That's what we paid for the horses, $25 a head. $25 a head. That stock's worth $100 a head half broke. $25 a head ain't honest on the face of it. Search Schneider's body, you'll find the money. If it hasn't been taken. You saying I'd rob the dead, mister? Hey, Dockin, how much money has he got on him? Four dollars and change. Time to the wagon wheel. <laughs> What are you gonna do to him? We're gonna hang your pa, sonny. No! Three against one's enough. Back off! Go a man like that, boy. You ain't never gonna hit me again, Pa. You can't whoop a man. You don't use your gun. Now get in there. Let me go! Where? Get away, son. Get away, son. Hold on, Sonny. But you stay here with your Pa. <laughs> Give me that thing. That's it, up, Charlie. Tall man, ain't he? Pretty tall. Tall man hangs from a short rope. No, it's getting colder all the time. Mark? Miss Paul? Why don't you get yourself something to eat, son? I already ate. Thanks, son. Are we gonna get out of this, Paul? Oh, I don't know, son. But they won't hurt you, I'm sure of that. Why would they want to hurt you? We didn't do anything, did we? No. No, we didn't, son. Then why? I, I don't understand. Mark, 
Hard things happen to people all the time. We never really know why. It shouldn't be that way. Well, maybe not, son. Mark, there's, there's good and bad in life. A man's got to be ready for both. Yeah, I guess so. We're gonna do it in the morning anyway. Why not now and get it over with? Yeah, yeah let's, let's get out of here. It's getting colder all the time. How about it, Mr. Crown? Let's hang the man and go home. How many men you killed, Post? We could finish and be on our way. It's cold out here. We'll do it quick enough. But you'll get no warmth from a hanging. But it'll put a chill in deep as your soul. I'll take those, sir. be a real big feather in your hat, Artie. I'm not sure I follow you, Charlie. You want to be sheriff, don't you? Man always hopes to get ahead. Well, there's McCain and Snyder, two of the horse thieves. Caught cold and executed by your posse. All the time, Amby Grimes is out in a snipe hunt somewhere. That ought to make you sheriff. Don't think it won't. I suppose it could. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd like that a lot. A whole lot. Well, then hang him quick, right now. Everybody wants it. No questions tomorrow. Why should there be questions tomorrow? Well, you know how people are after a hanging posse. But they won't do it now. They don't dare, because they're all part of it. Well, you want to be sheriff, don't you? Yeah. I want to be sheriff. Well, it's warm enough? Not even in there, it ain't. Well, if we don't finish this now, we'll be out another night away from home. Talk to your pa, not me. Yeah. Pa, oh, it's about time for the hanging, ain't it? Morning's time enough. Everybody here wants to have it now. Everybody? You ask McCain there how he feels about it? Well, me? How do you expect McCain to feel? I'm asking you now. Morning's time enough. Pa, what's the matter with you? You used to chew up horse thieves and spit them out. Now you act like you can't even gum them. You watch how you talk to me, boy. Boy. Boy this and boy that. I'm a man, Pa. A grown man. Now don't call me boy anymore. And when I talk to you, you listen. You know, I've been waiting a long time to see you start acting like a man. Well, I'm still waiting. Well, maybe you ain't got the insides for it no more. Maybe you're overripe. What do you know about insides? The only thing you ever had inside of you is some saloon courage and me to back you up. Every man here is with me, Pa. Now, when do we hang him? Time for hangings in the morning. Gives a man time to make peace with his God. And it gives all of us time to think about what we're doing. So that later on, nobody can say he didn't know. Charlie's right. I'm getting old. I remember hanging a few horse thieves. And it didn't make me feel any better to watch their toes reach for the ground, their faces going black. All right, McCain's a horse thief. He's gonna hang. 
but when it's proper, in the morning. Mr. Crown, you can't hang my paw. Stolen horse is a forged bill of sale. The only man to back him up dead. He's a horse thief, son. My paw never stole anything in his whole life. He's a good man, the best man I know. Now be sensible, boy. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do, but you're wrong, and nothing will ever make you right. I bought those horses. Paul gave me the money to pay for them, but I bought them. From Mr. Schneider? He wouldn't sell them at first, but then he changed his mind and lowered the price. He wanted to leave town. That's why he was traveling with us to North Fork. He would have told you if your son hadn't have killed him. Mr. Schneider begged him. Mr. Schneider begged Charlie. Whatever you do, whatever you say, I want to be like my Pa, just like him, no different. He's the best man I know. for it. Just head for the horses. So you can shoot me in the back? I said chance, no guarantee. It's dark, I could miss. Well, it's better than having your boy watch you hang, ain't it? You wait until morning, he comes out, sees you hanging there with your heels kicking, your neck broken and all twisted. All right. My boy and I had it like that once. Don't ever lose it. It's over and done with now, Mark. Why so glum? If they'd have hung you, Pa, it would have been all my fault. Now, wait a minute, son. Don't you ever think that way. If they'd have hung me, it would have been Charlie Crown's fault. Nobody else's. Charlie Crown. Stealing his own Pa's horses and then selling them to poor Mr. Schneider. Just to get money. Guess I didn't make such a good trade after all. Better leave the business to you. No, siree. We're partners. Every lesson you learn makes you a better partner. Only one thing. What's that? Just remember the lessons. <laughs> 